I'm going to show you how to tie the bowline on a bite knot. This knot is super useful for creating two loops in the middle of a rope. What you do is you start off by creating a bite in the middle of the rope, just a little loop like this, that's called a bite. And what you do is you stretch this out just a bit, and then all you do is create a loop over these two here, so you can see that loop is over both ends of the rope. And with that bite you originally created, you're literally going to come up like you're tying a basic overhand knot. Just simply come through here. Now here's the trick. This bite right here and these two loops down here, the bite will go over these two loops. So simply what you do is you pull that bite over those two loops, you bring it up to the back, and then you pull it. This is just like the Palomar knot, just with two loops, and that is the bowline on the bite, or on a bite, and you have two symmetric, or pretty close to being symmetric loops, that in an emergency, instead of your climbing harness, you can actually put your legs through and use it as a harness in a pinch, you can also use this as a double loop to hook onto your ice axe or for climbing or whatever. It is not as good as the Alpine Butterfly Knot for bi-directional loading. The Alpine Butterfly Knot's a much better choice for that. But the Bullen on a Bite Knot is super, super good. You'll notice that it does loosen up incredibly easy. So you need to make sure to always check it and check the load on it, but it doesn't slip either direction. All it does is just keep tightening up. So I will tie that again for you, just to show you how to create the bowline on a bite. It is the best, arguably easiest knot to create a pair of loops in. And if you need big loops, you need to give yourself a long stretch of cord here. So again, all you do is loop the rope over, so I'm gonna take this and loop it over. That way you have the bite end creating the loop over the standing end and running part, or the running end standing part, haha, <laughs> thank you. And then you take this bite, you pass it up through the loop that you've created and then the easiest way to do this is to reach down and it looks like a mess at the moment but don't worry pull both of these loops through here and pull the the bite to the back it flip does this magic flip over thing and then you simply snug it up and this knot dresses very easily and now you've got two loops that you can do whatever you need to do with in your rope. The bowline on a bite knot is one of the best knots to use if you want to create a pair of symmetric loops in a rope because they are stable. They, this knot does not slip. It is life supporting, so it is a climbing safe knot. You probably wouldn't want to use this for climbing because, well, It'd be really uncomfortable to land on a couple of eight, nine, or 10 or 11 millimeter ropes, but it is great in a pinch and it is symmetric and bi-directional. It is a perfect knot for creating those two loops. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out links in the description to my books, Antarctic Tears, Lost at Windy Corner, Adventure Expedition One, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, the Jackson All Hiking Guide. The most crucial knots to know where the bowlin on a bite is featured on page 14, bowlin on a bite. And my 2024 Total Eclipse Guides, as well as check out my shows, Antarctic Tears and World Beyond. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That way you can get more information about knots like this and more adventure.